Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana and for today's video I'm very excited because we are going to be doing our first Halloween look. Um, it is October 1st, so it's officially spooky season. Um, we're just going to dive right into it and we'll see what we come up with. I have an idea of what I want to do, but um, that obviously changes throughout the minutes. So let's dive into it and see what we come up with. Okay, so now that the mop is back, um, I have nothing on my face. This is my bare face. I just washed it to refresh it. Um, I just got home from class, so I thought, you know what, time for spooky season. Um, so we are going to go in with this Revolution SFX base paint. It's a white base, so we are just going to apply this all over our face because we're going to do a skull. Okay, we're doing a skull. I don't know what's going to come after that, but we're just going to do a skull first. So we're going to put this white down and then we'll see where we end up. I should probably take off my necklace. Having acrylics is so much fun until you actually have to take off a necklace or put one on. So we are going to, and once again, this is the Makeup Revolution SFX white base. I got it at Ulta last year. I think it was around $6. Um, I'm not really sure, but that's where I got it from. So I'm going to take this on a brush, just a regular brush. So I'm just going to apply this right in that little hole. But we're just going to apply this all over our face. Last year I did this with a sponge when I did my Halloween look. So I'll probably switch. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch to a sponge. I'm just going to take this little sponge I have. It's from an e.l.f pack of three. I don't know what the name is. Got them a long time ago. I'm going to spray some of my Peter Thomas Roth. It's the water drench um, on it because I'm too lazy to go to the bathroom and get it a little damp. So blend this out. We're going to need a lot of face paint because we have a lot of face. Okay. I feel like I'm in elementary school right now in art class using the acrylic paints. Is everyone ready for spooky season? Because I know I am. It's the greatest time of the year. Okay, I'm gonna drag this down all the way to my neck. James Charles palette. And we are gonna go in with this white shade. We're gonna go in with this one. And we're just gonna take our sponge, dip into it really generously to coat the sponge. We're just gonna apply that on top. So I'm gonna finish putting the white eyeshadow all over my face and my neck, and then I will come back and we will do the next step. So I'm back. Kinda looks like nothing changed, but it did. Um, so now I'm just gonna go in with this flat head brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics, and it just looks like this. She's just flat, and I'm gonna go in with the black eyeshadow from the James Charles palette. We're gonna tap in it lightly, tap off the excess, of course, because you don't wanna mess up. I was gonna go in with eyeliner right away, but I was like, you know, that's a bold move. I don't wanna mess up, so we're gonna go in with some black shadow, and we are just going to start from here and you kind of just want to make a line from your ear and I'm going to take it into my hairline and drag it down following the natural shape of your cheekbone and into the mouth like this. And then we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I kind of just made the piece here that looks like the mouth. That's where the teeth are going to go. And then we're going to do this side.
just sketched out where I wanted things to be and I filled in my nose the way I did it. Um, I don't know if you guys saw everything, but basically you just take the flathead brush or any brush that you're using and then you kind of just sketch um, two lines like a V, one higher, one lower, and then you just connect it to the ends of your nose. I went about halfway into my nostril and then you just paint, or not paint, you, well you kind of paint, but you know, you take your eyeshadow and you just fill in the extra area that you want to cover. So that's what I did. I'm gonna go over everything with eyeliner, but for now it's just gonna be like this and then I'm gonna fix everything. So we're gonna move into shading now. Um, no, we're not. We're gonna cover our lips in white concealer. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our Morphe white concealer and I probably could have used this all over my face, but you know, I didn't think of it, so it is what it is. And we're just going to take that sponge and pat it out. Before we move on to shading, I'm actually going to add the line for the teeth. So the way I do it is I take the flathead brush, dip it in black, and then I keep my lips closed and I kind of just fill in the dark spaces here, and then I just bring it out into the sides like this and then make the lines down for the teeth. So the way I do the teeth now, I start at my cupid's bow. And I just make a straight line down. just going to line a little bit up here just for a shading effect so we have an idea of where we want to shade before I move further with the actual skull portion of this I'm going to do my eyes and the way I'm going to do my eyes is um, a little bit of glam so I kind of want to go for like euphoria but make it Halloween look. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. I've decided and we're aiming towards that. For the eyes, I'm going to just do black obviously, a little bit of gray. We're going to keep it very muted within the white, black, and gray family. So I'm just going to go in with black shadow. Um, it doesn't really matter which black shadow you go in with, just go with a black shadow. I have this palette in my hand right now for a mirror. This is the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani palette. Um, there's a black in here, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and tap off the excess. And I'm just going to start this into my outer edge. take another fluffy brush and just buff everything out. We're just going to pack more more black in the areas that we want. I just bought these liquid eyeshadows from e.l.f. Um, we're not going to use the blue one because, you know, we're trying to we're trying to pull it back. And a white eyeshadow or um white eyeliner, so I'm thinking of using this. Not 100% sure yet, but I think I will. Um, so I bought this liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade Black Magic. And then I bought the same one in um, Disco Queen. Oh, oh. Wait, I wasn't expecting it to be this small. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I'm gonna swatch these really quick so you guys can see. So this one is Black Magic. And it looks like this really pretty so that's gonna go on our lids and then I also bought Disco Queen and it looks like this 
and that's also gonna go on our lid. We're gonna start off with Black Magic. And we're just gonna place this all over our lid right here. So my camera cut out and then I had to delete videos because my memory ran out and I don't know where I left off but um, I don't know how I like these. Kind of just wipes everything else away and that's probably because it's a liquid shadow but oh my god. Oh no. No ma'am. That's a no for me. We have a problem. We are going to fix this problem hopefully by going into our Pixie by Petra um, Blue Pearl. It's an eye quad and we're going to go in with this silver shade right here. Looks like this and we're just going to put this all on our finger. <laughs> hopefully it covers. If it doesn't then I don't know. Okay, it covers. We're saved. It's golden. This was not exactly the look I was aiming for, but when push comes to shove, gotta figure it out. Ugh. I just felt like Tula from My Big Fat Greek Wedding when she got the contact stuck in her eye. Yeah, that was me. I am going to take my fluffy brush that has the black on it and just try and blend this together. So we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush and a black shade. We are just going to fill all these spots in. Shading our forehead, we're just going to go ham and uh, just do it and get it done because it's a forehead and you're going to blend that into your hairline, or at least I do. So just rough it up. What I did was, I did the eyes, you guys saw that. I added the pixie eyeshadow, you guys saw that. Um, and then I just roughened up the whole look of the skull. So I just filled everything in and then I took my sponge with leftover white eyeshadow, face paint, whatever was on here, and I just buffed it in like this to give it a little bit of color just because I feel like it looks better with effect. And I kind of just went like this as well on my chin, but the main color was on the forehead because I think it just looks better. So it kind of made it look blue, and I really like that. Um, I think it looks a little bit more scarier, whatever you want to call it. Not really scary, but you know what I mean. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take eyeliner. And I believe I'm going to use my gel eyeliner for this. And we're just going to outline everything that we did for like the teeth and the jawline and the mouth. Oh, and I added it on my neck too, so it's probably going to disappear by then, but whatever. I'm going to go in with this liquid eyeliner I have. I believe it's from L'Oreal. Yes, it's L'Oreal. It's carbon black. Um, it never came with an actual label on the package. It just says it on the bottom, so I don't know why, but that's what we're going to use. So 
So now that we have outlined everything, we're gonna go back in with our flathead brush and that black shadow. So with the eyeliner, we're going to roughen up here darker and make it fade out into the gray. It's a beautiful day to keep getting cut off by your camera. So here we are and um, once again, I don't know where we left off, but I just shaded everything in. I added some effects um, like these lines right here to make it look darker, these lines here, a little bit here. I added a little bit more of the blue by combining my white um, Morphe concealer and a little bit of black eyeshadow on this little sponge and I kind of just tapped it out places. Um, I kind of liked having a little bit of blue. I feel like it gave a little bit more uh, depth and effect to the actual face. So I know I wanted to stay in white, gray, and black, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to go in with this little flat pencil brush. It's kind of angled. Um, and I'm going to dip into my concealer just a little bit and then just go like this. Yes, okay. I'm going to line my lids with some white eyeliner. This is the one from NYX. It's Epic Wear White Liner. So I've never used this before. Oh, my camera's dying. BRB. Hello, everyone. I am back. Um, I think we all know what happened. My camera died. So I just decided to finish this look. Basically, what I did was, let me think where we left off. I think it was eyes. I did the eyeliner, so then after that I just added mascara, and then I added falsies, and then I just glued on all these little pieces for little gems to make it cute. Um, I added four on my lip, two on top, two in the bottom, and that's really it. It looks so, let's see if we can turn the light down a little bit. I have a flashlight here to see for photos. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint my face for spooky season. <laughs> Please like, give it a thumbs up, comment, share with your friends and family. And if you're new and you like what you see, then please subscribe to my channel and join the family. Um, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, shit. Is this expired? Ew. That's all I got for today's video. Why am I terrible at this? No, this has to be deleted already.